Hey everyone, welcome back to another video from Brand New Shishi. Today, we're gonna take a detailed look at the brand new MIUI 12 global stable version on the Pocophone F1. If you're watching our videos for the first time, please make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. One thing you guys have to keep in mind is that the features and differences I show in this video could be removed or more features could be added before the update rolls out to you guys. And without any delay, let's jump into the video. When I started using the MIUI 12, the first thing I noticed was the issue with the notification panel. When I swiped down from the left on the home screen, it showed up the notification panel, which it should. And also when I swiped down from the right, it also showed the notification panel instead of the control center. And the only way I could access the control center was to swipe down from the top right most corner of the screen. I think this issue is because of the POCO launcher instead of the default Xiaomi launcher on POCO devices. I think they will fix it before the official update rolls out to you guys. Coming to the home screen, the icons feel a bit more refined than the previous version of MIUI. And the animations feel very smooth when opening or closing a system application. One problem I noticed was that the animations were not as smooth when you are on the three button navigation instead of the full screen gestures. Coming to the security app, Xiaomi has completely redesigned the app and its animations. Look at that awesome progress bar on the optimization page. Scrolling down on the security app, we get the solve the problem option which also comes with its own redesigned animation. Coming back, we also have a redesigned interface for the second space application. Other than the usual features, there are three new features in this list, and first of which is Test Network. Test Network lets you see the real-time data usage of all your applications and test your internet connection. The next new option is Privacy. With the MIUI 12, Xiaomi is taking a big step in protecting the user's privacy and bringing transparency to its controversial permissions. I will cover this feature in detail in an upcoming part of this video. The next feature is Video Toolbox. This is one of the awesome features in the MIUI 12 that I like. You can enable this for any video streaming application. I'm going to enable it for YouTube and show you guys how it works. While I'm playing a video on YouTube, you can see a slight faded bar on the left side of the screen. Clicking on it opens the video toolbox. Here we have option to play the videos even when the screen is locked, open any application as a floating window in front of YouTube and record the screen, take a screenshot or cast the video to any other device. Now let's take a look at the camera app. In MIUI 12, the camera has gone through some significant design changes. As soon as you open the camera app, you notice the yellow accent color. On the video page, you can access the settings from the top. And here, we have the usual options from 720p 30fps to 4k 60fps. Coming to the settings, we have a new option called customize. And there are four options. And the first one lets you edit what camera modes are shown on the home page of the camera. Under the option camera modes, we have the option to arrange the more camera modes as either a tap or as a panel. As you can see, the panel mode lets you access the extra camera modes by swiping up from the bottom. The next option lets you customize the accent color. And finally, we have the option to change the camera shutter sound. We have four different options to choose from. Now let's go to the settings. In MIUI 12, the settings have a much more cleaner look and all the phones are bold and big enough to read without any difficulty. With the MIUI 12, the user experience has improved. Scrolling through the settings feels very smooth and touches are much more responsive. Opening the about phone, we can see that we are running on the MIUI 12.0.0.3 global stable version for POCO F1. Clicking on the storage style, we can see an awesome animation which shows you how much storage has been used. 
In MIUI 12, you can see these sort of awesome animations throughout the settings. Looking at the display settings, we can see that all the sliders are much bigger in size throughout the settings, which makes them very easy to use. And talking about dark mode, MIUI 12 comes with dark mode 2.0. Dark Mode 2.0 not only changes the theme to dark, but it also dims the wallpaper and adjusts the contrast, weight and boldness of the font depending on the user's ambient conditions. Under the lock screen settings, we have a new option to adjust the lock screen clock format. We have four different styles to choose from. Previously, to change the lock screen clock format, we had to download themes from the Xiaomi theme store. Under the display, we have the settings for the control center and notification shade. When I started using MIUI 12 for the first time, by default, the new control center was disabled. I had to open control center and notification settings to enable the control center. Under this setting, we also have the option to change the battery indicator to hide the notch and other usual stuffs. The next is wallpaper. Instead of the super wallpaper for MIUI 12, we still get the default wallpaper carousel from Xiaomi. But there's a way to sideload the super wallpaper, I'll leave links to that in the description. Now on to battery and performance, we get a cool looking animation that shows you the battery percentage and how long the battery will last. Clicking on the optimize button gives us another cool progress bar animation. We also have an ultra battery saver mode which restricts almost all power consuming background activities and lets you use important applications only. This will get you a really long battery life and also we have the option to add your favorite apps to the battery saver mode. We can only access the control center from the battery saver mode and the notification shade is completely disabled. Coming to passwords and security. We can see that the settings are arranged in such a way that it is very easy to find. And also, the setting up of Face Unlock has a new refreshed iOS type of look to it. We also have a new option to show contents of notifications after verifying the face data when the phone is locked. Now let's look at the privacy settings. Here we have the permissions manager, show passwords and other usual Google privacy settings. What really disappointed me was the lack of permission statistics which was one of the most cool features of MIUI 12. The permission notification which notifies you every time an app access the camera or location is also absent. I really hope Xiaomi adds this soon in an update. Also the option to restrict camera usage in the background is also not available. Talking about the system navigation, the Android 10 gesture navigation is also not available. You're stuck with Xiaomi's full screen navigation for now. The swipe back and hold to switch between apps is still available. Even though some features are missing, the most awaited floating window is rolling out with this table update. One way to open an app in floating window is by clicking and holding on the app in the recents menu and selecting floating window icon. Opening the floating window by dragging and dropping an app to the top of the recent apps list is not available on the Poco F1. Instead of the floating window, it still has the split screen mode in its place. The next and easiest way to open the floating window is by holding and dragging down on the notification. As you can see, I can reply to the WhatsApp message by clicking and dragging down on the notification which opens the WhatsApp chat. Dragging from any corner of the floating window resizes it. It can also be minimized by dragging the floating window to any corner of the screen. I tried testing the floating window while gaming and it worked perfectly. If you are a person who plays online games and want to reply to text while gaming, this will be really helpful for you. Well this is it guys, the MIUI 12 global stable in the Pocophone F1. If you have any doubts or questions, feel free to ask them down in the comments below. And please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, it means a lot to me. And until next time, this is Random Shashi, signing off.